evening, everyone. Uh, this is Devin Adams. Um, if you're if you're watching this, then you took a four in that class with me. I had several of you wondering about the virtual machines and how to get a FortiGate VM in a hypervisor so you can test it and also you can play around with it. Uh, I apologize going forward. Uh, uh, I've been sick recently, so my voice is a little bit out of whack. I'll try to dictate here, but um, for you all hearing this for the first time, let me know if you have a hard time understanding me. I can always um, re-record this. Also, I decided to uh, break this up into different categories. That way, if there is something that you want to focus on, like maybe how to download the VMs versus how to set it up in the hypervisor itself, you can have them as separate tutorials. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn on where to go to get the VMs from your Fortinet uh, support account. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you're going to have to ask yourself is which hypervisor are you going to use? So if you have a VMware uh, workstation, you can go ahead and use that. Um, you can also use a couple of other ones there. Um, there's also Hyper-V. Um, let, but let's go ahead and take a look. So you're going to go to support.fortinet.com. Oh, there it was. Fortinet.com to go to your support website. And then you're going to put in the email and password of your Fortinet support website. So. Uh, if you guys already have a FortiGate or a, a Fortinet product, you'll have access to this website. So then you're going to come over here to download firmware images. All right. And then here you can get neat information like release notes. Um, also, you can take a look at the several products that are offered by FortiGate, Fortinet. And over here on the download page is where you're going to go to get those VMs and you pick your poison so let's go ahead and do version 5 and let's do 5.4 and I'm gonna stick with the version that we were using in class so 5.4.1 now you're gonna see the physical FortiGates so you're gonna keep on scrolling until you see the VMs alright so here we go looks like the VMs start around here so as you can see there's different VMs for things like uh, AWS and also for Hyper-V if you want to use the Microsoft flavor. There's also KVM. Um, do not worry about this one right here with the VMX. That is actually for the uh, FortiGate's VMware. It's essentially their own hypervisor platform. It's a physical appliance called the VMX. Uh, but there's Zen server right down there. And then the last one right here is going to be for ESXi or VMware Workstation or Fusion. So uh, because the hypervisor that I'm going to be showing you guys in this, in this lesson is going to be uh, Workstation, I'm going to go ahead and download the zip file. Now what is the difference between like this file right here that just says .out versus this file right here which is a zipped archive? So the .out file is where you're going to go to download that image if you want to manually upgrade a VM. So if you want to upgrade a VM um, through the GUI, you would download the .out. If you want to set up a new machine, it's the zip. And then you come over here to HTTPS. I'm just going to go ahead and download it to my desktop. So I'll just hit desktop here and I'll hit save. And you'll essentially have an archive right here so uh, so I'm gonna right click this bad boy and I'm going to extract it so we can take a look what's in there and what you're gonna see here is essentially uh, the files that you need to run a FortiGate VM so this data drive is gonna be like for your log files alright and then these are all the different open virtualization platforms alright and then this one right here is the actual hard drive that your FortiGate will run on. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my hypervisor now that I have that downloaded. All right. And I'm going to go to File and I'm going to say Open. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. All right. And then here's the folder that we're just looking at. And essentially, you can just pick the one that doesn't have all the, all the uh, extensions on it. So FortiGate VM64. 
it will go ahead and import it in as a new machine. Now that's important because if you want multiple FortiGates to work with, um, you can go ahead and import it uh, uh, several times over. So I'm actually going to uh, name this maybe local uh, local FortiGate and it's going to import it or copy those files that it needs directly into my um, default virtual machine folder which I want it to. So uh, you'll go ahead and you'll agree to Fortinet's user rights. We'll hit accept and now it will bring that file over. So here we go. Uh, here it is, local FortiGate. It comes over with all the appropriate adapters, all 10 of them. There's the two hard drives, and there is the memory, and there is the CPU. Now this default image normally does come with a license for two gigs of RAM versus one, depending on your needs, but it is only licensed for a single processor. So the second that I turn this machine on in my hypervisor, I'll have 15 days to use it until it expires. All right. So in the next lesson, I'll show you guys how to actually get this thing talking to a guest machine within VMware. So, um, but just remember, if you have a support license, you can go onto their website and you can grab any flavor of hypervisor that you want, uh, other than VirtualBox, which, which Paul reminded us uh, in the last class that. Uh, it looks like you can't do natively. I'm still going to be working on that one. But uh, Hyper-V is a great free one if you have Windows 10. Um, uh, VMware has their different trials that you can do for ESXi or for Workstation. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next lesson.